This is Signal University's presentation of which antenna amplifier is best. If you've been thinking about adding an amplifier to your antenna setup, this little course is going to give you just the basics, let you know what kind of amplifiers are out there and give you an idea what's the most important thing to look for and finally get an idea of which kind of amplifier you should be considering. First let's talk about what an amplifier does. An amplifier takes a very, very weak signal and just kind of strengthens it, makes it bigger, adds more to it. But what you'll notice is that as the signal gets bigger, you can see that it had some flaws. It's a little bit blurry, it's a little bit weak. An amplifier doesn't strengthen the signal by recreating it. In fact, it gives you more signal but never improves the quality of that signal. If you're talking about an amplifier, you have to talk about noise. And realistically, what you see on the screen, that's not important. What's important is that you see that as noise gets more and more, it overtakes the signal. And it gets to the point eventually where you can't see that signal. The more noise, the more problem. And the problem is, you can't get rid of noise. Noise is always going to be there. If you add noise to a line, you can never get rid of it unless you completely recreate that signal. In fact, noise is the most important characteristic of amplifiers if you're talking about digital signals. With digital signals like antennas and cell boosters, it really doesn't matter how much signal you have. It only matters if you have enough signal to overcome the noise in the line. That really sets up the defining characteristic of amplifiers. And that is, how much noise does the amplifier add and is the amplifier in a place where it really matters. If you've got a large outdoor antenna, you might want to consider adding a pre-amplifier like this one. Pre-amplifiers are designed to be installed outside right after the antenna and they have the capability of adding very little noise to the line which is important as you translate from the, an over-the-air signal to a signal over the wire. A preamplifier is designed to help you overcome losses from long cable runs and they can in some circumstances help bring in marginal stations. The other kind of amplifier that you commonly find is a distribution amplifier. Distribution amplifiers usually mount inside and they're designed to overcome the losses due to splitting a signal. Sometimes they have a splitter built in like this Televez model. Because distribution amplifiers are working with signals that are already on a cable, it's not as important how much noise they add because as long as they're adding more amplification to the signal than they are adding noise, you're going to be okay. If you're looking for the best of both worlds, check out these Televez mast amplifiers. They can be used inside or outside for ultimate flexibility. They're designed to pass power to preamplifiers and amplified antennas. No other amplifier can do this. They can be used to combine multiple antennas, plus they've got variable amplification, which lets you actually turn down the amplification if you need to, if you've got too much. They've even got an LTE filter to prevent any interference from cell signals. Now, because they are technically distribution amplifiers, they are a little bit noisier than a preamplifier, but generally that doesn't matter because you're going to be using them with an amplified antenna or at least a little bit further down the line. If you're using it as a preamplifier, you'll find that it has enough power to overcome that extra noise. However, if you're looking for the lowest noise option, you might want to choose a pure preamplifier. Another unique feature of Televez amplifiers are the Easy F connectors. With an Easy F connector, you don't have as much cable because you can use only the cable you need. You don't have to use pre-made cables and then wrap a whole bunch of them up. It's so simple, it takes almost no tools. You use the included cutter to simply cut the cable to size, put it in, and screw it down. There's no loss due to the addition of an extra connector. And this is a feature that only Televez amps have. And you'll only get those amplifiers of solid signal. So, now that you've learned a little bit more about the different kinds of amplifiers, 
Which ones are best? If you're trying to amplify only a single antenna and you're trying to only make up for losses due to a long cable from a tower or from a mast, a preamplifier is probably going to work for you. If you're looking to distribute your TV signal through multiple TVs in your home, a distribution amplifier is the best. Or, if you're looking for the ultimate in flexibility, one of the Televez mast amplifiers is probably the right choice for you. But if you still have questions, well, give a call to us at Solid Signal. You'll find us at forums.solidsignal.com if you want to post, or you can visit the live chat at solidsignal.com, or call us at 877-312-4547. Thanks so much.